Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So one more simple interview question and then this can be used in your uh, framework or when you are doing some development. A very simple thing that you have to join two arrays using Java 8 or you can use Google Guava a library also. This array could be any string array or any primitive type array like a long integer or any floating type array also. So let's talk about first. Uh, I have two arrays in this particular main method. I just randomly created let's see one batsman one array and this is a bowler array in batsman we have these Rohit Virat Dhawan Shreya Rishabh and Shubhan and in bowlers we have around three plus two five elements are available five string elements are available now the question is that you have to create a combined array out of these two arrays how will you do that so we could use Java 8 streams uh, which is very simple I simple write arrays class I'll be using it Arrays dot uh, stream I'll be using and then I can pass my first array over here. My first array name is batsman. Okay, and uh, same thing I'll be doing it for the second array also. Let's see. This is for bowlers. And I'll store the stream will uh, give you one stream of a string. So I'll store inside the stream of a string and let's see. This is my um, stream of uh, batsman. I would say as packed and then which is equal to this and the same thing I'll be writing for the second guy also let's see this is for bowlers stream for bowlers as bow and uh, there's a stream we have to import from Java dot util <coughs> okay so these are the two streams that I have created now I can use uh, once again the stream class a dot I can use this concat and I can pass both the streams. So I have my first stream as bat and uh, as bowler like that. And then I have to convert into a combined array. So there is a method to array method is available. But instead of the first one, I have to use the second one it's to array. And let's see, I'm just declaring one size and then passing with the help of Lambda and then creating one new string array. And we know that, OK, when we have to create the any string array we have to give the size so whatever the size that you are getting it the same size you can pass it over here you can take any element guys say e a b c d whatever the name of the size variable you can use it anyway and then put a semicolon i hope this will work and then this two array will give you one string array can you see that it's giving you one string array so i'll store inside one main string array let's see this is my uh full team array is equal to this and then that's it this full team I got it now I just need to let's see I want to iterate this particular uh, full dream array so I can use a simple for each loop having the string type of elements and uh, what is the array name this is a full team array and then I just want to print system dot order print and print the value of s so let's see it is working or not so right click on it run as Java application so here you can see that I'm getting the complete uh, team over here, complete elements, all the element from backspan and the bowlers. So this is a very simple thing. You can use it with the help of streams. You can do that. So make sure that okay, you are having multiple arrays, converting into the respective uh, streams over here, and then use a stream dot concat and convert that into two array and get the size, pass it to the new string size, which will return one string array, and then use this particular string array for your purpose I want to iterate it or whatever you want to do it you can simply do it now this is a final full team array I'll get it over here this is the first way of doing it with the help of Java 8 okay so I'll write it over here with okay. in the previous videos I have already told you that you can use Google Guava APIs also which are like very powerful so Google Guava jar file you have to download and uh, see this is the reference library you can see in my project this Google Guava library is already available over here you can download and you can add it in your project so right click on your project go to properties and see go to libraries under Java build path and click on add external jar and add this particular job a jar over here and then that's it click on apply and close now I can use my Google Guava library over here in Google Guava library what exactly only one single line you can do it there is a class that is called object arrays class dot there is a method concat method is there okay 
in concat method you just need to pass my two arrays over here string batsman the first array and the second array is bowlers okay and after that what do you have to do after that you just need to tell that what kind of final array the type of final array will be so i simply say that it will be the string dot class type will be the final array and that's it okay and this concat method will give you this string array and then i'll do one thing i'll store inside the string array let's say i simply write that uh, all team array which is equal to this and that's it and again you want to write a for loop just to check that okay yeah i got my all team or not you simple all team iterate this particular array with the help for each loop so i'll do one thing i'll create a separator over here like this and then let's see i'm going to print it am i getting the right print or not the complete list you should get it awesome see this is just because of java 8 and this is because of coming what we have seen that uh, the google guava api that we have used that okay now one more thing with google guava api this is for uh, you know you're joining the pro uh, joining the two arrays for object arrays any kind of object array string or something like this what if for primitive types right primitive types arrays also you can have it so for example let's say i'm going to create two primitive types uh two primitive types array over here so i simply create primitive type means integer type or floating type or a double types like that not a string or any object type so for example let's say i'm just going to create one integer array integer uh, let's see array number p1 and then uh, i'm creating one p2 array these are the two primitive types array and then what exactly you have to use now so now with the uh, google guava api what exactly you can do is that is again you can use instead of object array there is a class i just forgot yeah i think in ints class dot concat yeah this one you can use it and concat with the p1 comma p2 that's it and this concat will give you integer array can you see that awesome so this is a combined array of p1 and p2 so let's say this is a p3 array which is equal to this now this p3 array is having both the content and i really want to iterate this p3 i have integer type of data let's see integer i in a p3 i'll just simply iterate it system dot out print and print the value of i so let's see i'll create one more separator over here so that we will get the separate output and then let's run it so awesome see you can see one to ten is getting printed over here like this so this is the power of google guava api one single uh, line you can solve it and then uh, performance also it's really good and it's quite uh, famous provided by google you can use it in your uh, project and then start using it for such basic operations on you know arrays or something like this okay so remember this thing people might ask for a time of interview but uh, this java 8 stream also people might ask you or maybe google guava is not important for interview but important for your project point of view you can have certain libraries in your framework so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you are learning from this particular channel the really really good content is coming and uh, please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all